Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be calculating a simple drop rate for IVs. So here's an example of a drop rate question that you might see. You receive an order to run an IV of 1250 mils of normal saline over six hours. Your facility uses administration sets with a drop factor of 20 drops per mil. Calculate the drop rate of the infusion. And remember that GTTS is just the abbreviation for drops. First, it's good to know what the drop factor actually is. Drop factor is the number of drops that fall from an infusion set that add up to equal one milliliter. So for example, if we have a drop factor of 10 drops per mil, that means that every 10 drops that fall is equal to one milliliter of fluid. This is known as a macro drip because the drops are large. If we have a drop factor of 60 drops per mil, like this one here, that means that it takes 60 drops to equal one milliliter of fluid. This is known as a micro drip because the drops here are going to be much smaller. For this question, our drop factor is 20 drops per mil. So the question is asking us to find the drop rate. So we'll need to know our drop rate equation, which is drop rate in drops per minute is equal to the volume of the order in milliliters multiplied by the drop factor provided in drops per mil, all divided by the time of infusion in minutes. Now we can just fill in our volume, which is 1250 mils, our drop factor, which is 20 drops per mil, and our time, which is six hours. Remember, drop rate is always calculated in minutes, so we have to convert our six hours from the order into minutes by multiplying that six hours by 60 minutes which will give us 360 minutes in total. What we have now is drop rate is equal to 25,000 drops divided by 360 minutes. To simplify that, we can divide it out and we get 69.44 repeating drops per minute. Now, because we can't really count half a drop, we always tend to round our drops to the nearest whole number if it's not specified in the question. So here we round to the nearest one drop, which rounds down to 69 drops per minute, which is our drop rate. As long as you pick out the information that you need, plug it into the formula, convert any units needed, and remember to round, then that's it. And if you want to download a free drug calculation formula sheet, which has this drop rate formula along with a few other useful ones, I've placed a link in the video description. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or you can visit rpnt.ca for more help.